Hello everyone and welcome to this video. My name is Moad Bin Aicha and I am a business process consultant here at Glidefast. Today I'll share with you the new CMDB 360 view in the Utah release. Starting with the Utah release, the multi-source CMDB feature is part of the CMDB 360 view. CMDB 360 provides all the functionality of multi-source CMDB and additional capabilities such as an analytics dashboard and U query functionality. CMDB 360 view provides out of the box aggregations and analysis of CMDB 360 data, which can be used to track activities and identify potential issues of your discovery sources. Within this view, you can create and schedule different types of queries and reports to explore the CMDB data. In this new workspace experience, you will notice that there is a new menu option for the CMDB 360 view. Here, you can see any potential issues with the configuration item data that's being collected across multiple sources. Also, you can get a summary of your sources created, manage queries that you have created, and you can configure the parameters of this view to your needs. The cards in the discovery sources tile will show you aggregated counts across all your discovery sources. And the cards on the coverage tile will show you a breakdown of configuration items per the number of discovery sources reporting those configuration items. The Utah release includes a new wizard that allows you to easily create and schedule custom queries across all of your data sources. Three type of queries that you can configure to your attributes. First of that is a basic data query, which you can create a query that you can use to explore your CMDB 360 data. It queries your CMDB 360 for CIs matching your criteria that are reported by specific discovery sources. The second of which is the source gap analysis. This type creates a query that you can use to analyze gaps in your reported CMDB 360 data. It queries one or more discovery sources that report a CI and one discovery source that doesn't report a CI. And finally, we have attribute level comparison in the third type. This allows you to create a query that you can use to identify CIs with attribute values that differ across multiple discovery sources or against the CMDB. It queries at least two discovery sources and or the CMDB for configuration items that match your criteria. Now let's navigate to my demo instance and see how we can enable the CMDB 360. The CMDB 360 dashboard for multi-source data is available on the ServiceNow store for customers that have an ITOM visibility license. Begin by activating the ITOM discovery license plugin if you don't already have it. Next, navigate to the CMDB 360 properties by searching in the application navigator, CMDB 360 properties. You'll find it under configuration, CMDB properties. In the CMDB properties screen, make sure that the first property here is checked. This will enable the CMDB 360 view. By default, the CMDB 360 tracks discovery source information for CIs from both CMDB and non-CMDB classes. However, you can independently enable or disable tracking data of the CMDB and for non-CMDB classes by unchecking one of these two properties. Next, let's navigate to the CMDB 360. To access the CMDB 360 view in the, in the CMDB workspace, navigate to Workspaces, CMDB Workspaces, in the CMDB workspace menu bar, select CMDB 360. Now let's take a look at the various components within the CMDB 360 view. The potential issues includes two cards, CI not reported by discovery sources, and data mismatch. Cards on the potential issues tile show details about CIs with discovery sources that are incorrectly reporting on the CIs. CIs not reported by discovery sources lists CIs that are discovered by multiple discovery sources. 
but one or more of the discovery sources has stopped reporting within a specified number of days. The number of days since CIs were last discovered by a discovery source dashboard setting is used in the cards aggregation. We will look at the various settings that you can configure for the CMDB 360 after we review the various components. Next, we have data mismatch. This lists the CIs for which different discovery sources are reporting different values. Attributes are considered mismatched when different discovery sources report different values for the attributes. CIs that appear when you drill down on this card can reveal issues with the individual CI or your reconciliation rules. Next, let's look at the tiles under the discovery sources. Cards in the discovery sources tile show aggregated counts for your discovery sources. The number of discovery sources shows the total number of discovery sources that report CMDB 360 data. The total number or total CMDB 360 records shows the total number of raw CMDB 360 records in the CMDB 360 data store that contains records for each discovery source report per each CI attribute. The reconciled CI card shows the total number of unique CIs created in the CMDB after processing incoming data from all discovery sources, including after reconciling data from multiple discovery sources for the same CIs. In my instance, I have three discovery sources and the total number of CMDB 360 records are 541, of which 540 of them have been reconciled. The discovery source overview card displays the distribution of CMDB 360 CIs across all reporting discovery sources. The coverage portion of the dashboard includes two tiles. The CI with a single source tile shows CIs that are only reported by a single discovery source, with a breakdown by the discovery source reporting those CIs. The CI by number of discovery sources shows CIs reported by multiple discovery sources grouped by the number of discovery sources that are reporting those CIs. Now, let's look at how we can configure the CMDB 360 dashboard. To get to the configuration settings, click on the settings gear icon on the top right of the CMDB view. Under the global settings, you can use this setting to limit the number of records that CMDB 360 must process. Out of the box, the default setting is 100,000 records. Under the potential issues setting, CI not reported by discovery sources, the number of days since CIs were last discovered by a discovery source setting determines the number of days used in the calculation of the CI not reported by discovery sources card. By default, it's set to seven days. Scrolling down under the data mismatch settings, these settings determine which classes to use for the card and the relative weight of each of those classes in the calculations. The automatic data weights evenly distributes weights between the selected CI classes. Manual data weights allows you to specify a custom weight for each CI classes. Let's add a new CI class for the data mismatch card. Here I'm going to add the manual endpoint class. Click add. And now here I'm presented with two options. I could show the CIs where every attribute doesn't match. And I could show the CIs where any attributes does not match. And this allows me to select the attributes. Let's select IP addresses, add it, and we'll also add another attribute, location, and we'll add that as well. So this is going to show the CIs where the IP address and location attributes don't match. I also have the hardware class configured, where the class fully qualified domain name, manufacturer, model ID, name, 
and serial number attributes. So this will show me the CIs where these attributes don't match between multiple discovery sources. And then the other one that I have here is the application class. This will show me the CIs where the IP address, most recent discovery, name and version, attributes don't match between multiple discovery sources. Next, let's look at the coverage settings. Classes you want to include in the coverage card can be defined here. So again, the same concept applies where you set the automatic data weight or manual data weights. Let's add another class. Click Add. Next, let's change the weighting to manual data weight. So here I can assign for the cloud network to be 30%, and then the manual endpoint to be 70%. And then once I'm done my configurations, I can click Save. And here at the top, it tells me that my settings have been successfully saved. In the last portion of this demo, we will look at saved queries. Navigate back to the CMDB 360 view. Under the saved queries card, you can edit and run queries you've created in the past, or you could create a new query by clicking Create Query. Here you're presented with three types of queries that you can create. The first one, Get Records, allows you to create a query that you can use to explore your CMDB 360 data. The second one, Find Gap, this creates a query that you can use to analyze gaps in your reported CMDB 360 data. And the third type, Compare Attribute Values, allows you to create a query that you can use to identify CIs with attributes values that differ across multiple discovery sources or against the CMDB. In this demo, we're going to create a find gap query. There are three steps to configuring the query, selecting a class, gap setup, and results layout. For this demo, we're going to use the same class that we used in the past. When you click the down arrow, you can further Filter the CIs that are in the manual endpoint class by setting up the condition here. For my example, I'm going to leave it empty. Click continue to go to the second step. In the second step, under the non-reporting discovery sources, I'm going to select agent client collector. So what this is going to do is it's going to show me everything in the CMDB that is in the manual endpoint class table that is not reported by agent client collector discovery source. You can also select reporting discovery sources. However, this is optional. For this example, I'm going to leave it empty. Click next to go to the last step. So here we have two options. We can show the unique CMDB 360 records, or by default, you could show the CI records by discovery source. I'm going to leave it as default and the limit results, I'm going to leave it as all. Next, click Save. And here you can give the report a name. You can also add a description. Now I'm going to click Save and Run. So here we could see the results of our query. It's showing me all the CIs under the endpoint manual class, where the source is not agent client collector. This concludes the demo of the CMDB 360 in the Utah release. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.